Hello guys and welcome to another Cray video guide. My name is Scootin and today we'll look at how to use the connector. Uh, so a lot of you guys have asked, um, <clears throat> well, how to use the connector. So in this video I'll try to explain that and try to cover the basics of the connector. Um, personally it's one of my favorite props, uh, gameplay props. It's very useful when you're doing uh, more complex setups, uh, but it's a bit tricky to sort of wrap your mind around how it works. Uh, so Let's have a look at it. Uh, we can just start by opening up the settings and you'll see that there's a, a count here and there's some different connector types. Um, so for those of you that actually paid attention in math, you'll probably recognize a lot of these icons here, um, which mean different things. Basically what the connector does it, it, is that it, uh, it receives uh, a power input and then you can set the connector type to different things here. And let's just start with the equal symbol here. Let's set it to equal and let's say to equal one. This means that when the connector receives one power signal, it will send power to something. So let's just do a small setup here. Uh, let's say that the connector sends power to this rotator. Um, and let's just give this rotator something to rotate. It's gonna be a primitive. Okay. So this sensor will send power to the connector. And when the connector receives equal one power input, it's gonna send power to the rotator. So let's just test this really quickly. Jump into play test. And now you can see it receives one power input, which means that the ball is rotating. And let's just put the sensor to forever. So just for the sake of the example, let's place another power input over here and let's make that send power to the connector as well. And let's just mark this with a different color. Okay, so now you'll see that when I run into the first sensor, it sends one power signal to the connector and the connector is set to equal one, which means that it sends power. But if I run into the other sensor here, the connector now receives two power inputs, which means that since it's set to equal one, it's not going to send power anymore. And this is how you, I mean, it's, it's one of the ways that you can use the connector. Um, there, there's a variety of ways you can use it, but this is, a, I'd say the most common one. So if you want to power something, but then make it stop sending power after a while, you can set it to equal one and then just give it another power input. It doesn't have to be a sensor. It's just easier in this video to show it with the sensors. Now we could go into the connector now. And we can set the count to two, which means that now the connector will need two power inputs before it activates. Um, and this can be useful in scenarios where you want to, let's say, open a door once you've been to two different areas. Then you can put these two sensors in and let's just have a look. So before this one sent power because it was set to equal one. But now we need to run into the other sensor as well. Now it's equal two and you can see the ball starts moving. So. This is sort of uh, the basic uh, connector setup. Uh, we can just do a different one. Let's do it over here instead. So sort of keep the first setup. Um, so let's take this connector and set it to equal. Uh, let's just do equal again and equal zero. This would actually make it work sort of like the inverter, which we'll cover in another video. Uh, so let's say that this connector sends power Again, and this sensor sends power to the connector. We'll just mark this. All right, so what it does now is that <clears throat> since the connector is set to equal zero, it means as long as the connector doesn't receive any power, it, it's actually gonna send power. And that's what, you, that's what you're seeing right now. Which means that as soon as I run into this area here, then it, it, it's gonna receive one uh, power, but since it's set to equal zero, the ball starts, uh, stops rotating. This can also be quite useful. Um, <clears throat> so <clears throat> let's look at some of the other settings. <clears throat> let's just copy a new connector, jump over here. Okay. So now there's this uh, greater than or smaller than uh, icons. So let's take uh, this one, for example. This means that as long as the power is above uh, zero, right now, let's just set it to one. When it's above one, it's gonna send power. So again, let's place a couple of 
sensor is here. Just mark these areas. We can multi-select these. Press P on the keyboard to send power to the connector. And of course we'll need a rotating ball again. Let's jump in here. So as you can see now, it's receiving one power input, but it's set to only send power when it's larger than one. So when we run over here, uh, we're now sending two power signals, and as you can see, it's on. And I can even power the third one over here, and it's still on, because as long as it's above one, it's on. So it's, this is a bit uh, mathy, this whole thing with the connector, but it's very, very useful uh, when you start doing setup. So if you want to do cutscenes, uh, we'll cover that in another video. Um, but um, hopefully already sort of getting the hang of uh, the basic functionality of the connector here. Um, you can also look at um, this symbol here. It means lower than. So as long as the power signal is lower than two, it's going to send power. And again, let's just do the same setup here. Take these three. Quickly paint, select them, press P on the keyboard, send power. Um, so right now uh, it's receiving zero power inputs and it's set to be lower than two. So that's correct. Now we've activated one and now we've activated two. So now it's equal to, which means it's no longer lower than two and thus the rotator stopped. Um, I hope this is making sense. Uh, if not, please uh, let me know in the comments and I'll try to uh, maybe upload a new video on the connector. Um, but I mean, it's pretty straightforward. Basically, it receives power and then it sends power, uh, but it, it sends power depending on the connector type and the count that you've set and the amount of uh, power inputs it's receiving. Um, this is if it's, uh, so let's say we take this one and we say, let's see if I can even remember how this works. So this is, I guess, if it's under or, or uh, if it's uh, larger. Oh, what the hell is this? Let's test this. <laughs> I, I think I know how it works. Let's put it to, let's, let's say two. Um, and let's just take three of these again. Make them send power. Okay, I've actually never used just this setting here. I've seen other people use it, but we'll just uh, explore how it works now. So now it's receiving one and now it's receiving two. All right, so I guess it has to be exactly two. So I guess if I run into the third one here, it's gonna start again. Yeah, okay. So it basically means that it has to be exactly two. I think so. Again, some of you math geniuses out there, please feel free to correct me in the comments if I'm wrong here. Um, I rarely use the setting and I didn't pay a lot of attention in math. So um, this one here, let's take a look at that. Use that quite a lot actually. Um, again, doing the same setup here. So this icon basically means if it's larger than or equal to, all right? So jump in here. Oh, what did we set it to? Was it two? Yeah, it's two. So this is one and this is two. Uh, so this is equal to, and now this is three. So that's actually greater than. So it's, it basically just means equal or greater than. Um, and as you can probably imagine, this icon right here means lower or equal to. So if we just swap this around, we can see it's currently lower than two. And now it's e equal to here, because uh, we're sending two. And now we're running to the third one and it stops. Um, so these are all the different setups uh, that you can do with the connector. Um, you can hook up connectors to connectors to connectors or like use other power inputs to play around with this. Um, but you can get some really cool results. Um, 
and I actually often use the connector. So when I'm when I'm doing uh, when I know I'm going to do something a bit complicated, instead of just dragging power directly to something, um, usually what I do is that I take a connector and I and I say uh, let me just take one sensor here and I put it to just equal one because then later on let me just freeze and reset here so when I start building something I usually put in a connector in between just so that in case I want to cancel this event later on I don't have to rewire everything I can basically just use the connector and just change that to equal two or I can change the count value the connector type and instead of makes building complicated uh, gameplay setups it makes it a bit more like dynamic and flexible uh, so if I'm like hey now this is on but actually I want to disable that uh, at the end of the game uh, I have the connector here and I can just use that to throw in another uh, power input um, so that's usually how I use it just like as a backup um, so I don't have to do too much rewiring um, I hope this will make more sense as we like move on in these tutorials. Um, I'm definitely going to use the connector for some of the stuff that I'm going to cover. Um, this video was just to give you the basics of how the connector works. And then we'll look at some more concrete examples as we move on. But uh, hopefully this makes sense guys. If not, let me know in the comments and I'll do another video where I'll cover it and I'll try to answer all the comments and all the questions that you might have around the connector. Um, but yeah, hopefully this made sense. Uh, again, let me know if it didn't. Alright, thank you guys and see you all in the next video.